Okay, so we're going to replace this gem of a anti-theft premium audio CD changer control radio in this car. This is our 93 Cabriolet, and we got a kit from Crutchfield. And it came with these hooks that should go in and engage the, and pull it out. So for right now, we'll pull it out. And get these crusty connections off. And we have an adapter that this should plug into. And then we have an antenna adapter. And we'll go in the house and we'll get to look at all that. So we're replacing this cassette deck with a new. audio receiver, digital media receiver. We got this kit from Crutchfield and it nice thing it comes with a wiring adapter that will adapt the new machines harness and there's also an antenna adapter and then this will go to what's in the car and I wouldn't confirm that this should this will plug in so I'm gonna make the assumption that they've done their homework and all these colors are right. And we'll go ahead and get this thing crimped together so we can just go plug it in the car. So when you buy this kit, they email you instructions. shows the basic stuff, how to crimp the wires together, how to put it in. And then there's a wiring adapter. And it tells you if there are any differences in the red and yellow. Our vehicle's not on any of this, so we'll ignore that. It tells you what the wires do. I'm just going to assume that all this is right. And we don't have to worry about the blue or the blue-white because there's no power antenna or amplified antenna. So we'll ditch that one. So pretty much we just match and connect the wires. So let's see what we have. This comes out of the radio. So the yellow wire will go to yellow and we'll just go color for color. I considered soldering these and that could be done. You can do just about however you wanted, but they suggested using little crimp on wire nuts, so we'll try that out. These come pre-stripped. This seems a little long, so I'm going to trim trim that off, about half that off, till it's about a half inch long. I thought these were my sharpest cutters. They're not the best. Twist them together. Shove it in. And we will try. We will try these crimpers and see how they do. That should be good. Now we will just match all the rest up and crimp them. All right, we're back at the car. We've crimped all of them together, color for color. We're not using this one, so it's taped up. Now this should plug right in. This black one is the power side, which has less wires. It pops right in opposite side the speakers so that is good now the sleeve what holds the radio in the dash should just slide in this opening a little persuasion Okay, there we go. Now, there's all kinds of little perforated tabs in here that you can push 
that'll bend over and hold this thing in. Again, these are kind of universal, so this is kind of hit or miss. Which ones will actually do something? That thing's not going anywhere. They're supplying antenna adapter because they're two different style antennas. And I'll shove into the radio. And this is the car antenna. Pops onto that. The harness connector goes on like this. jam all that back in the hole. And before we go crazy, let's see if it works. Looks like we have a functioning radio. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, now this will pop in and catch. In the event we need to pull that out, I supply two little hooks that'll go in the side and catch the radio and you can pull it out with those. We'll put those in the glove box. So any thief that wants to take the radio has access to them. Let's pop on this plate. Anyway, that should be it. Thanks for watching.